Hey guys and welcome back to another Match Day vlog. Today Notts own to Port Vale. Now over the winter period Notts put in two very differing performances. First we beat Morecambe 4-1 away on Boxing Day and then we'd put in a very team performance losing 1-0 away at Swindon on Saturday. So yeah Notts coming to 2018 only 5 points clear of the playoff places. Uh, we face a Port Vale side today in very very good form under Neil Aspin. They've won 4 of the last 5 games. They're doing very well. They beat Luton 4-0 at home. Um, Two days ago, a very good result against the Luton side who seem to be running away with it this season. So yeah, I'm not I'm quite worried actually about today because not just the Port Vale in good form, but Notts really haven't really played well at home for a while. I think Cheltenham was the last time they actually really played well in a home game. So yeah, we need to step it up today, get back on form at home. Come on Notts, come on you pies, let's do this. So yeah, we're really, really early at Woodhouse Station. Um, yeah, Notts really, like I said, in, like I said a few, like I said earlier, Notts really haven't played well last few home games. We scraped the win against Colchester. We, 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 that game against Grimsby was typical League Two, scrappy, dour affair. And maybe we had a chance to win it in the 90th minute. And Cambridge, well, that speaks for itself. 3 0 down with eight, uh, with uh, 15 minutes to go to draw three all. But we've we've dropped a lot of points this season, not too many in fact. Like I said, we're only five points clear of the playoffs at the minute. We've dropped points in too many games this season. Accrington was one where we conceded in the 95th minute. Carlisle, we had a chance to win the game. Luton, Yeovil, Stevenage, lots of games this season where we've dropped points. Arrived in Nottingham for the game and I've and if you know me I, I am I post on Pride of Nottingham, the Frank Knox fan forum website. And if I've spoke to a few of you Knox fans about my concerns currently, and like I said, I've had, I think we've had a fantastic season. You know, it's been an unbelievable turnaround for by Alan Hardy and Kevin Nolan and all the playing stuff. But my worry is about my worries after the Swindon game were a few things. Number one's our lack of squad depth which was um, clearly shown at Swindon which where we had Pierce Bird, Con Saunders and Elliot Hodge on the bench who obviously don't, all, don't usually get anywhere near the 18. Uh, secondly is our lack of cover at centre-back. Hewitt isn't a centre-back, like I've said already, he just isn't a centre-back. He, he's better, a lot better in centre-mid. Uh, thirdly, we really do need a striker, we've been crying out for one. I've been saying that since the uh, first game of the season against Coventry. We we need a striker. Fourthly, um, or fourth, we haven't won. A, we've only won one away game since we lost to Mansfield, and that is not great. And it was against a Morecambe side. It was a really good performance at Morecambe. I'm not going to actually take any credit away from it. It was a really good performance at Morecambe, but we need to improve our weight form a bit. And lastly. Yeah, we've only won two of our last six currently in the league. I know we've picked up a few draws along the way and it's always good to avoid defeat, but we need to turn them draws into wins if we are to extend our gap over the playoff places. But I've got full faith in Kevin Nolan to not let performance levels slip at all and we can maintain our place in the top two. Right, so very important team news to the game. Duffy is back in, Jonathan Port is back in, Dan Jones is in at left back. Thank goodness for that because Dan, George Grant plays a lot better with Dan Jones when Dan Jones is playing left back. I really could. I'm glad Alessandra's in on the wing instead of Hawkridge. Alessandra plays a lot better on the wing than Hawkridge and he plays a lot better on the wing than he does up front. And God forks it back again. And the AB star injured. Hopefully he can recover quickly for a game against Brentford in the FA Cup. But yeah, the team news I didn't I wanted to hear. Hewitt's back in centre mid. He's a centre mid, not a centre back. I'm glad Duffy's back in. Let's go for it, Ox. Yes. Is that Terry Oldridge? Yes, it's just from me, 2018. I'm going to be more tolerant. Kevin Nolan's blow out on me! 
Turn and walk. Go on, no! Offside is. Go on, Grant. Oh, just referees just amaze me by shit they are. Jordan, that will play. Yes. What are you doing? In. Great ball! Oh. Right, we're 27 minutes in, it's still 0 0. Not has been playing really well this first half. We've, we look well structured in defence, we've attacked well, we've played some good football. Alexander really has been playing well. He's on the ball now, absolute teasing him. Yeah. Although we should have had a clear penalty, instead shoved over in the area. Not Brisley. Was it Brisley? Brisley oh. shoved over in the area. Lots of goal opportunity. John Stead's absolute smashed it over. He played really well though, it's still no move. It's half time, it's not nil, Port Vale nil. We've not so dominated this first half, I've got to admit, we have been by far the better team. Port Vale have got them got the one thing and it's launched the ball to Tom Pope and that's it. We've nullified the threat of Tom Pope quite well. Sean Bristol has been good. Lewis Alessandro has been playing quite well. We've had, we've had some good chances. The only thing we haven't done is score. As I said earlier, we should have had an obvious penalty where I believe it was Bristol who was pushed over in the penalty area. Clear penalty every day of the week. And if he doesn't get the penalty, if he isn't sure Bristol is one on one with the keeper, we really should be leading the game. Like, like I say every week, we always play better second half, so let's hope it's the case. Simon, season what? Of yeah, <laughs> season, season of goodwill. It took five minutes before you called the referee. <laughs> no, 22 minutes before I shouted at the referee today. Six. The first 22 minutes was under my breath. <laughs> well, they've got one tactic, which is hoof it long to Pope. Um, as long as we can keep dealing with that, it's a clean sheet. We are having far the better of it and we've really created a great deal of click opportunities but we say it every single week we play better second half and really this is this is three points for the taking and we need it. We need three points, we should get them and then we'll have a week off the league and then ready to attack the motion. Almost 70 minutes gone, it's still nil-nil. I'm not so a chance. Alessandra's been absolutely brilliant. My own match for me. Good. Uh, Saunders has come up, Callum Saunders has gone for Jonathan Fort, but oh, it's just frustrating at the minute. Got no control of the game, the referee. Hewitt and Ryan Boot here, keeper just went up for a 50 50. Hewitt wins it cleanly. Boot goes down like his head's fallen off. Yeah, but just got me bailed. to go. We have got to take advantage now. Got to take advantage now. Clear shove on Johnstead. We've got, we have got to score. He bought that man out instead, but then. Yeah, but it's about fucking time. Wait for the contact to end up. Yeah, yeah but, but there was contact yeah. until he got the penalty. He was here last chat anymore when he wanted to get blocked. Come on, John, please. Beat this is not bad. Oh, it's 
Oh, I'm not. He took one goal. He only took one. We had a host of chances throughout the game. But one goal on you. One three points. Fifty points. Get it. Simon. John as well, why not? Oh, Give your well, nasty team, nasty fans, nasty places. I don't believe any ref cheats, but there are different degrees of incompetence. And this bloke is the worst we've had this Shocking. season. Absolutely <laughs> awful. Shocking. The team, the, uh, League Two's crap. That team doesn't deserve it. The only way they tried to get a point was cheating, niggling, going down when you're not injured. They deserved exactly what they got. No goals, no points. And we've got 50, and that means we're safe. <laughs> so it's full time. It's not swarm put. They all nil. A really, really good performance by Knotts. Just, in, just one goal did it in the end, and it was on the penalty spot. Instead, cracking penalty. A lot of power behind it. Too much for the keeper. But yeah, an alright point. Saunders did really well when he came on, stretched their defence. Give you it some new boots, too many Hollywood passes. But yeah, it's fine, we won. I don't know why I'm complaining. Ryan Yates, quality performance, man of the match for me that I asked to go to Lewis Alessandra. Absolutely fantastic. Every time he got the ball, he got he went forward with it. He wanted to make something happen every time. He was always making runs. He always took players on. We played some more. We played some nice stuff today. Knotts did. One goal did it in the end. And it's a it was a, it's a really really crucial three points. We needed to win today after that loss at Swindon, and we did just that. So we are back for Meadow Lane. Knotts one, Port Vale nil. We're back to seven points clear again of the playoff places. Thank goodness we needed some breathing space after our disappointing defeat at Swindon. We got it, we grinded out that win big time. It was a really good performance, we played very well. We just, like, until we got that penalty, we just lacked it, just lacked a cutting edge. We lacked that, sh look, we, again, today we lacked that striker we so desperately need. But we are going to get one. I have faith in Kevin Nolan and Alan Hardy to go out there and get a striker. <laughs> yeah. So, seven points clear. We grinded out that win, as I've already said. We had lots of chances. Played very well. Luis Alessandro, as I've already said, had played very well today. Every time he got the ball, he went forward with it. Tried to create something. Dan Jones played very well. George Grant, I think we're trying to build his confidence back up again. I think he's been hit. I think he's... You know, transfer speculation is, you know, it's kind of affected him a little, and we've got to try and build him confidence up up again. Some of these crosses, he, he didn't play badly, but he he, he wasn't his usual self. Um, Yates had a very very good game in midfield. Did Ryan Yates? Sean Bracely dealt with the threat of Tom Pope very well, um, and that was that was their lead. I thought Tyrone Barnett did play well when he came on for Vale. Causes a bit of trouble, but mostly not so in control. We dominated the first half. But we were just lacking that cutting edge, as I've already said. Uh, but we got it in the second half. We, we did have um, one or two penalty decisions turned down in the first half. Step, I think it was Brisley who was clearly pushed over. Or said, um, please say who it was in the comment section below. Was it Brisley or was it Stead who was pushed over? Um, never mind who it was, to be honest. It should have been a penalty. It was a clear shove in the back. Um, if any, if he isn't shoved, he's clear for one goal. Yeah, so we should have had a penalty in the first half, and then, but the ref made up for it with that, um, with that penalty decision later on. With I think it was Harness who shoved Stead in the back, goes down, penalty with four minutes to go. Stead tucks it away, lovely. Because I get nervous now when we have penalties because last season, last season we weren't very good at penalties. This season, I don't think we've missed one at all. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's important we built up that gap uh, between us and the player places once again. A very good performance. Let's get out there. Let's get a striker. Let's get Matt Gordon, please. I really do want Matt Gordon. Um, he's out of contract at the end of the season, but we might have some difficulty because Portsmouth won him as well. But yeah, just get a striker, get a backup centre-back and maybe get a winger. Callum Saunders was very good when he came on today. Um, stretching the Port Vale defence very well. Um, he's an intelligent footballer, very good with his runs. Yeah, I think, I think Saunders, he's got promise, Callum Saunders. But yeah, a crucial win for Notts. And now, would you believe it, Lou and Notts in Coventry, the three biggest clubs in the league, occupy the top three places in the league. 
there we go what a start to 2018 if you've enjoyed the vlog give it a like comment down below your thoughts on the game stay subscribed if you already subscribed subscribe if you're new be safe be champions and as always see you later.